Hey, good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. So one of my favorite things about this house is that the laundry is on the second floor. It's in the bathroom. So the laundry, it gets washed where it gets made. And I am thrilled about that. So <laughs> let's go on in the bedroom and fold some laundry together. All right. Admission, I love folding laundry, especially when it's cold outside and the stuff just comes out of the dryer and it's all roasty toasty. I want to roll in it. <laughs> so mostly I'm making this video for Vicka because I promised them that I could fold some fitted sheets. All right, so you know I've got birds in my guest room, right? We've got all the chicken littles some of them not so little anymore, uh, hanging out in the guest room. And I have covered the couch in there with sheets and a towel for extra measure. And they come through and they scratch up the towel and then they poop on the sheets. Anyway, we are running a lot of freaking laundry right now, including sheets, fitted sheets, because it's a, it's a futon couch, so it takes a sheet. So let me show you how to fold a fitted freaking sheet because it's really it's not as mysterious as people make it look don't let them gatekeep on you you can do this you can so totally do this so let's fold a fitted sheet all right so i've got two ends of the fitted sheet on my fingers my fingers are in the corners you can see it's the little hem edge sticking out towards you all. Holding my left corner with my left finger, I'm going to take the right corner and flip over so I've got the, the right side, the front side of the sheet, looking at me. Going down the edge to the next corner. Alright, so going down the edge to the next corner, I'm going to put front to front, flip it over, so it looks inside out. And then the final corner, you can see everything's all tangled. Tuck everything into it. Let me show you. So tuck everything into it. See, we've got basically a bag. And poke this guy right into the last corner. Okay, so let me turn a little bit and shake it out for you. So this is what we end up with. Okay. And I'm going to lay it on the floor and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so this is our collection of corners. This is open. Everything else is on the inside. I'm just going to fold it in thirds, and it's still going to be a little messy, which is fine. It won't look messy at the end. I folded it into thirds, and then we're going to fold it into thirds again. And there you have it. Folded fitted sheet. So let's open it up again and go through it one more time, nice and slow. I'm getting warm and flustered. I'm going to put my hair up. Um, somebody actually asked me how I did this. I've been doing it, gosh, I would say since day camp, since I was a kid, I've been doing this with my hair. So let me show you how this works. Hang on. Okay. Pull it up into a pony. Wrap it around your finger. Tuck it in. Ta-da! I've put my hair up. <laughs> Left hand is going to hold. Right hand is going to move. Put the corners together. Flip the right side over the left. 
Go down the left side to the next corner. Put the corners together. Flip the right over the left. This one. We're going to find the last corner, but everything's all messed up and inside out over here. So we're going to tuck the sheet that we're not holding into the inside. Find the corner and tuck everything in. Okay, so at this point you can switch it to the other arm and drape it over just to smooth everything out. And then lay it on the floor. Okay, we're laid out on the floor. I'm gonna fold it into thirds and flip it into thirds. And that's it. So feel free to hit me up. I'm going to try and describe it down in the description below the show more. I'll try and describe this so that there's a step by step that you can follow. But yeah, that's it. That's how you fold a fitted sheet. I didn't even realize there was a cat in here with me. Oh my goodness. It's a gray cat sleeping on a gray wool blanket. It's my boy. That's Sigurd over there. He is a rescue kitty. And uh, Liv and I were trying to figure out how Liv and I were trying to figure out how old our youngest cat was the other day. And I realized that we got all our cats in like two year increments. So he's seven now. He's a big boy. Sigurd and I locked eyes across the rescue. <laughs> We went over to Worcester Animal Rescue League and they have like this little little enclosure uh, where they keep some of the cats sometimes and he and I locked eyes across a crowded lobby and I knew at that moment he was just coming home with us. <laughs> so I'm just folding laundry on a Monday afternoon like you do. Thinking about tomorrow and what I'd like to get done and what I would really love to do would be to plant the window boxes um, but it turns out uh, our porch is a little shaded and everything that I planted for flowers wants full sun so I don't think that's gonna happen tomorrow I think that'll happen in a couple of days after I get over to uh, to the garden center and pick out something nice to go in there that doesn't crave the sun so much. The porch is pretty shaded. It's uh, If I were to look directly out the window that I'm facing right now, there's a little roof and that's the porch. So it's, uh, it's also the north side of the house so it doesn't get quite as much light anyway because, well, the house is in the way. <laughs> uh, so I've got to pick up some stuff that's a little bit more shade tolerant, I think. Probably, maybe pansies. Um, they're just really pretty, and they, I always feel like they're sort of smiling. So maybe we'll pick up some pansies and see what else they've got over there. This big heavy flannel, can you believe this? Can you believe we were wearing big warm clothes just a couple of days ago? Hello, hello friend. Hi. Look who's here. Look who's here. Oh, look who's here. This is Gunter. This is Gunter. He's nine. His tabby brother is seven. Wow. Really? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Gunter is super nervous. Um, he also was a rescue. He came from Worcester Animal Rescue League as well. 
when you go to the animal rescue, they put you in a room with the animal and you can spend time with that animal and see how they do with you. And poor Critter, he was so nervous, so freaked out. And he was born at the shelter, so I, I don't know what kind of drama was in his little kitten head. Um, but he was scared, he was nervous, he was, you know, hanging out against the wall, occasionally peeking out, and he let us pet him just a little bit. I thought, you know, we'll get him home and he'll chill out, you know, he'll mellow and he'll become part of the fit. That cat never chilled out. So, when we moved here, he spent, oh my goodness, probably a month under the bed. <laughs> and it wasn't until we brought home this chair and you can see it's got a, a lovely coating of cat hair all over it we brought home this chair um, my mother had just moved and she didn't have a space for it and this chair's been around since I was a kid so I was like oh I'll take it well it is now become Gunter's throne he loves it oh so very much and uh, that was the day that he came out from under the bed. The chair lives here forever because it is Gunter's chair. I'm not moving it. I'm not getting rid of it. We will have this chair forever and ever. Amen. It makes the cat comfortable. How could you resist? Um, there are two other kitties who live here. One is Biscuit. And Biscuit came from a family in Woonsocket um, who had a surprise litter and so I picked him out and he came home with us and uh, we also have Anton who was another personal connection cat she's five now Biscuit's gonna be 20 this year he is 20 my big orange boy um, and then there's Anton the tailless wonder she was another one who came from a family um, bypassed the whole shelter thing right there boom kitty not her direct litter mates, but her siblings from another litter. A friend of mine has Prince the cat from that, and um, I admired Prince so much. And when there was a new litter, uh, Jessica let me know that there was a new litter of kittens and there were some Manx kitties in there. So Anton has never had a tail, never will have a tail. She just is Anton. Um, and we love her and she's a really good self-advocate we often refer to her in this household as the snack goblin one cannot eat a piece of cheese unmolested in this household uh, cheese and chicken are the highest value treats you cannot just eat chicken in this house you have a companion if you eat chicken in this house oh yeah so plans um, we were talking plans so the window boxes probably won't happen uh, for a few days. I gotta get over to the garden center or to the farm store and pick up something that will love that filtered light and the shade. In the meanwhile, there are so many violets all across my lawn, so many violets. It is, it's just heavenly. It's like this little purple mist all across the lawn, super pretty. Um, and there are more than enough there that I think I can harvest a bunch and make up some violet jelly. So I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Bill grabbed me some pectin on his way home from the city this morning. What? You going to help? You helping? Yeah. I want to give this a shot. So we'll go out in the morning. We'll pick some flowers. We'll have a good time. I'm gonna get the rest of this laundry folded. It was great to hang out with you, and I'll catch you up soon. Take care. Oh, I found Biscuit. How are you, Biscuit? How are you, my sweet old man? My 20 year old? He's and here we have Anton, replete with her nubbin. Never had a tail, never will. Well, she Technically she has a tail, it's just really tiny. Hello my tiny snack goblin. How are you? 
corner. Woo-hoo.